Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to read a sensor value and to send it directly to Unity. So for this example I'm going to use a potentiometer, but what I'm going to show you today can be applied to any sensor that can be connected to Arduino. So let's get started. To get started, we have to be sure that the default Arduino sketch is uploaded to the board. The default Arduino sketch is located under Files, Examples, Arduino and Arduino. Now we have to upload this sketch. So I connected the Arduino Nano. I have to plug it. Now that it's plugged, I select the serial port, okay, 16, and I can upload the sketch. Here you can see how I connected the potentiometer. So three wires, one to five volt, one to ground, and one other to the analog input, so A0 in our case. Back in Unity Editor, we can right away see if our potentiometer is working. If I click on Discover Ports, the board is correctly detected. I can add a new pin. It's gonna be A0, and I'm gonna set it up to pin mode inputs. If I click the read button, it's gonna read the potentiometer value. I turn it to minimum zero, and the maximum, it's the maximum value. The next step is to create a C -sharp script to read this value in play mode. So I'm gonna create a new script named read potentiometer. Okay, so in this script, the first thing to do when you want to use Arduino is to add using Arduino at the top of your sketch. It's gonna reference the whole Arduino library. Then we can create a variable Arduino manager named manager. Now we have to set up the pin to read. For that, manager dot pin mode to analog dot a0, it's our pin. And the pin bond is inputs. In the update loop, we can now get the value of the pin. So int value equals manager dot analog read analog pin a0. As you can see in the editor, there is already the slider. What we want to do is to map the potentiometer value to this slider value. For that, we create a new public variable uh, slider. And in update, we type slider dot value equals value. Oh, actually it's not really clear. So I'm gonna rename this value analog value. So now slider dot value equals analog value. So because the slider is from zero to one and this value is from zero to uh, 1024, we're gonna have to map it. So to do that, we are using the easy way so I'm just gonna divide it by 1000. Now we create a new game object and we attach a script to it. And also we drag and drop the slider game objects. Now we press play and... So something is weird, the slider only goes from 0 to 1. That's because in our script we divide an int by another int. So what we have to do, we have to convert the last int to a float by adding 0.0f and also to cast the first one into a float. Back in Unity, we press play It's working! Perfect! In just four lines, you successfully connected a potentiometer from Arduino to Unity. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time.